Me encuentro en la Sunset Strip, nada menos que con uno de los mejores cantantes de, de Estados Unidos y de todo el mundo, John West. How are you, John? Hello, how are you? Good, good, good. Happy to be here, you know, interview you. You're, I know you are not from from LA. I mean, you are not living here, so it's it's not often that I I'm gonna see you. Right. Yeah, I've been in New York since '97, so I lived out here in '92 when I was singing for Badlands. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I find that New York suits me a little better, a little more country. Oh yeah. Style, yeah. So what what are you doing? I uh, I know you are with a a new band, mm -hmm. right? We're called Ten Man Push. Yes. And we're the official band of motocross in the United States. Oh, yes? Mm hmm So we travel with the motocross nationals. We play uh, clubs along the way, outdoor concerts, festivals, that kind of thing. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Uh, what kind of music are you playing? Uh, it's kind of hard rock, modern hard rock, m melodic, no yeah. screaming. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. What people you know, know, about, know about you, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. It's pretty cool stuff. Why the name Tenman Push? Um, it's sort of like a deer hunting term. Like we have five guys with guns and five guys sort of go in the th thick brush and push the deer out. Oh, okay. So call it Ten Man Push. Oh, okay. Are you guys in in, in the hunting or something like oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. We're big deer hunters. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. it's, it's it's pretty common in in the north area, right? Yeah. Well, I've always been, you know into hunting since I was a kid. I'm Native American too, so it's part of the history, part of the legend. And that freezer right there is full of all the best Oh yeah. Best cuts of venison meat. So we're eating it all the time on the tour. So Okay, so no vegan at all. <laughs> <laughs> well no. No vegan here. So uh you release how many uh two, right? With with this band? Ten man push, yeah, have, we have two albums out. What what are the names? Uh, the first one's just self-titled, and the second one's called "Playing in the Dirt." It was released recently, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah. How 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 was the the uh, the media or or the fans uh, that knew about the band? Everybody's start, starting to catch on to a song called "In the Dirt." Seems to be the one that in the dirt will follow. Yeah, and that's the one that they're using mostly for like uh, motocross racing, truck racing, outdoor sports. You know, it's about getting out there, playing in the dirt, and motorcycles and that kind of thing. So it's been on uh, television shows for theme songs and and uh, they hire us to come out and play for some of their events they you know they want us there to play those type of songs so how many songs do you usually play in uh, the kind that kind of you know events uh, our show right now goes about four hours in a club and at an event like that we usually play like about an hour and a half two hours set something like that Do you play other other than Tim and Push uh, songs or just? Um, yeah, we can. With Roger and Han, yeah, yeah sometimes we'll play some of my solo stuff or your song, cover yeah. songs or just depends on the situation, you know, whatever the mood is. What about the older bands? Are you still in touch with the, the old, you know, the ones that are still alive at least? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I talk to the guys from Our Tension, Chris Caffrey, we're all still good friends. Yeah, sure. I talk to Andre from Royal Hunt. Um, I'm going to be working on a new record with Roger Stoffelbach from Our Tension, oh, guitarist. Yeah. And he has a band called Angels of Eden, and so he's working on his oh, yeah, I know that second band, yeah. record. So I'll be the singer for that one. I just finished a new record with uh, Mysteria, a great Italian Mysteria. piano player. Oh, okay. Yeah, great keyboard. So the, he's got a record out now. The name again is? It's called Dragonfire by Mysteria. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so that was the most recent thing I put out. Oh, nice. When, when was, was that? This year. This year. Oh, this year? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was recently. Yeah, it's pretty new, but um, people seem to like it. It's pretty heavy, sort of progressive metal, uh, keyboard, guitar jams. It's it's closer to our attention, I guess, than something I've done recently. Yeah, I remember attention. I have one of the CDs here, and amazing. All, all the bands you were playing on, you know, were, were good. I mean, like, yeah. like, you know, Sandra and Sun. Try to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Have you been asked to playing other bands that you didn't play like I don't know make a name wise no wise but you know I, I, I've had other th things come and go that are interesting but this band I have this is my own band now so you know yeah you this has to be something really interesting for me to give up my own band to go do something else especially now that we're being successful and making our own songs our own albums um, obviously you know we're touring in nice vehicles and going around 
the country. So you, get, you cross all the country with mm -hmm. it? And right. I, I wanted to be in a band that could tour in America. I mean, we really tried hard to get Royal Hunt to come to the States, and we just couldn't get any tour dates put together. You know, you were more in, into day. Europe, right? Yeah, we played Japan, Russia, Europe, yeah. fine. And uh, so not that, that much in America. I never played once with Royal Hunt in America. I wow. tried, you know, but... I thought in New York you play, I don't know, I mean... I no, I never did. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, I mean, I it's a good band. for seven years and still not one gig in the States, you know. It's expensive for everybody to, to fly from Denmark and Sweden and everything, come here, play. Right. We couldn't put together a decent enough tour, so, you know, this is actually uh, following along with a plan where I can actually get out in America and tour and do it. So hopefully from here, maybe we can move to South America, Europe. From well, here, yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So you have fans uh, it's in a good South America, base, so yeah. I think I probably play more of my original stuff from my solo albums and things like that. Maybe some of my other stuff from past bands like Our Tension, Royal Hunt, that kind of thing. You know, I would probably add that to the set if I got outside America a little bit. Well, if you go, probably yeah, it would be I good. Would, yeah, so. people will expect that. Yeah, but well, what are your passions? What is your uh, you do? Does any sport you play in with you know a sports event? Oh yeah, I mean I uh, I I ride motorcycle, four wheelers, uh, outdoor sports, hunting, camping. I have a cabin with a bunch of land up in upstate New York. That's where I live mainly. Um, you know I got 160 acres up there with a cabin on it, and that's pretty oh, much where I spend my time. Guitars up there and. You have a nice fire outside. There's some girls in that area. I mean, so some of course, big yeah. place. Of course, yeah, it's yeah. a it's a beautiful place. I mean, most people think of New York as a city with skyscrapers and obviously, yeah. I mean, it's what I know. And, yeah, um, it's you know, it's a giant state with yeah acres and acres of land, and so we live upstate New York, and we have a nice place there to rehearse and a studio, and so good. We good. have everything we need there. Yeah. Well, say a greeting for your fans and, and followers. All right. Latin America, Europe, Spain. Well, I'm here. Argentina. I'm here down on the Sunset Strip, getting ready to take 10 man push live at the Cat Club. We're hanging out, Argentina. Don't wait for me. But I might be there soon. Thank you. All right, buddy. We're going to do two, two more.